Greetings and hello to my brothers and my sisters. This is Brother Wes, and I just got something I just want to say. I want to say to I, I want to talk to the fathers if I can. Fathers, can I talk to you? And and the reason why I want to talk to you is because I um, I heard this situation today uh, with this mother and father, and how they are fighting over their child, and the father is very sad and uh, very um, hurt because the father feels like. Uh, the child is being taken away uh, from um, his daughter, away from her. It's a custody battle. And so, you know, it, it, and it kind of sparked something in my heart because, you know, you find that in so many instances that there are so many kids that are being raised without the father in their life and for whatever reason or are not, but still dad is not there. And you find that mothers are raising and shaping these kids wherein the father's uh, influence is not there. And that the most unfortunate thing is that uh, many of these kids are growing up without the balance of having a mother and father's perspective. And so, and oftentimes, you know, things are difficult for them because they miss out on that void or that place or that space or that wisdom uh, that was needed from that father. And so I like to talk to all of the fathers. And I just definitely want to say as a father of six kids, stay in your kid's life, man, stay in your kid's life because they need you. Regardless of what goes on with um, uh, your baby mother uh, or their mother, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever situation, whatever kind of difficult problems y'all have, work them things out without them. Because uh, oftentimes the kids suffer. See, because, see, when that kid look at mama, that's the, that's, she's her world, man. And when that kid looks at daddy, lady, uh, he's her world. And so why would you want to pull their world down? And so allow each of them to build that relationship uh, with each other because they need both mother and father in their life. And let's stop being selfish. Who's right and who's wrong or, or who does more for the child or not. That doesn't matter. You know, that child needs both of you. And see what you need to realize and understand, too. When you undivide it, what you're doing, you're shaping your kid to become undivided in their mind, to be indecisive. See, because they want to please both of you. See, but when you divide and you're fighting and trying to get position in life, they don't know where to turn. And so now they're in limbo. Do me a favor. Keep your child out of limbo and just show them love. It's not about who's right or who's wrong. But the main thing is that you're there when they need you. Are you there, mother? Are you there, dad? That's the main thing. Stop fighting and stop loving and start loving. Stop loving your child and set aside everything that could be negative because every negative thing that you do around them uh, when y'all fight, you're shaping them in that negativity. Let's get it right. As fathers, be a man. Be a man because that's your seed. Regardless of, or, regardless of or you and that lady don't work out, you still tied to that child. That child needs you. That child needs you. See, that child didn't act to be here. And now that that child is here, you need to act right and you need to love them because they need you because you're the example. And it's not just what you say, but it's what you do. Be the right example. Do the right thing. Don't fight around them because uh, the example, you're the example. Have a good day, fathers. Also, mothers, love your kids and stop fighting. Learn how to love and learn how to put that child first instead of your ego, instead of your feelings, instead of your emotions. And also instead of your pocketbook or whatever it is, whatever it is trying to get revenge. Your child is not your pawn to get revenge on that man, on that girl, on that woman. Do what's right and what's right will become you. Have a good day.